And we are sending you off into the weekend with Fine Arts Friday. The Christmas story is coming to life on the big screen with a new movie, Journey to Bethlehem. It follows the lives of Mary and Joseph with a stellar cast of actors and musicians that you do not want to miss. And joining us now from the movie is Joel Smallbone and his wife, Mariah. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to chat. Thanks for having morning. us. Happy early Christmas, I suppose. Yes, we are feeling the Christmas spirit here on Midday. And this is actually the first musical recounting Mary and Joseph's journey. Tell us more about why you guys wanted to be a part of this. Uh, initially, I was uh, told about the movie and sent the script by a friend that I used to tour with. And when I read this version of the character of Mary, I was immediately in. I've always struggled to relate to the Mary that we all know of and we've read about and we've seen church plays about, um, you know, the quiet, demure, submissive Mary. This mm. Mary is, I mean, she's defiant, she's ambitious, she's um, she's got grit and spunk. So mm -hmm. I, I was hooked right away. I was not hooked right away, <laughs> Haley. I was she was working on a country Latin project right now. And she's right in the thick of writing and recording. And she was going to like go to Spain for two months. And I was like, darling, but you've got all these other things. And she literally, she was so passionate about this retelling and the way that it brought Mary to life and lifted up women that she was like, I really feel called to do this. And so off she went. So you guys, you made it work like a good married couple does. I can't wait to see that portrayal of Mary. But tell me a little bit more about the cast and producers of this film, because there are definitely some names that our viewers would recognize. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the, the, the names you'd recognize first and foremost is Antonio Banderas, um, which is how I got tied into the film. I was going over to visit for four days in the middle of production. Uh, and uh, 48 hours before my trip, Mariah actually called me and said, hey, they just cast Antonio. They need someone to play his son. Um, Herod is his character. His son's name is Antipater. They want to see if you'd be interested. And so instead of going over for four days, I went over for four weeks and we got to be there together. Never on screen together, Mariah and me, but we sort of interspersed throughout the film, um, which is really cool. It's quite a bookend. She starts the film, and in some ways I end the film. And then a name that you would, wouldn't recognize, but you should pay attention to because you know of him um, by way of television shows and so on is Adam Anders and Nikki Anders. Um, they're a husband and wife duo. Nikki executive produced this. Adam is the director. They co-wrote all the music together, which is just world-class. And uh, he's from, he, he uh, oversaw all the music on that television show Glee for years and did 600 songs on that. And so he's very poised and perfect for this role as director. And it's cool because you have a sort of a power couple behind the camera. And if I dare say the power couple in front of the camera and uh, celebrating a power couple who brought Jesus Christ into the world. So it's a cool, uh, cool trifecta. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of families telling the story of a family. I love that. You guys are both accomplished musicians. So what are some of your favorite songs in the film and why? I love the song, Can We Make This Work? It's a duet between Mary, played by Fiona, and Joseph, played by Milo. And just speaking of world-class melodies, mm -hmm. uh, it's just a solid pop song <laughs> duet. And Nikki and Adam are, like Joel said, such brilliant musicians. They've got a, a very trained ear. So I think when people hear it, they might forget that they're watching the nativity story for a moment and think that they're listening to like top 40 radio. Mm -hmm. Beautiful melodies. Yeah. Joel, do you have a song that stands out to you? Uh, I've, I've cried a few times actually, just watching it back. Mother to a Savior and King, and one of my favorite Christmas songs, uh, is uh, Mary Did You Know? And Mother to a Savior and King, uh, King is kind of akin to that uh, from Mary's perspective. Uh, and then might be a bit self-aggrandizing, but my character sings a song called In My Blood, uh, which is really dealing with his daddy issues, if you will. Um, and I got to sort of channel my younger boy band fetish and dance. I had a spear. I rehearsed with that spear night after night in the hotel room with Mariah in Spain, and it, it just came together in a really moving uh, theatrical way. So 
Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We all love a good boy band moment. And Joel, I do have to ask, as a For King and Country fan myself, what's in the works with you guys? I know you're on tour right now. We are. Well, we're about to gear. We're gearing up. We did rehearsals this week. So we've had a lot of fun, Haley, as you know, but some of your viewers might not, that uh, we've had a lot of fun with Christmas tours. And so we're, uh, we did a rendition of the Drummer Boy, very on-the-nose rendition, where we added a whole bunch of drums to a song about a boy playing drums. And uh, it sort of has gone off like a house on fire. So we're doing sort of an annual tour. Uh, this year, we're going out to the West Coast. And then uh, what we're most excited about, we'll be talking about on this tour as well, is uh, for the last three years, speaking of movies, uh, not only were Mariah and I in Journey to Bethlehem, but she co-produced and I co-directed uh, a, a family film, a uh, true story, a 90s story about uh, a, a mom and her six kids migrating from Australia to the United States and all the tragedies and triumphs they faced along the way. It's actually our parents' story. And it comes out through Lionsgate in April. And so we're just starting. We launched the trailer this week. We're just all kind of rolling out the red carpet and telling everyone about it and doing screening. So that's that's probably the most, the major the major benchmark, the next benchmark after this for Mariah. I mean, then like I mentioned, Mariah's working on this country Latin project. So there's a lot going on in the small bone and for King Country. Yeah, when we were in the theaters, the Unsung Hero trailer played just before we saw Journey to Bethlehem. And that was a unique moment that I don't know that we'll experience again. Oh, I'm sure what a special moment there. Lots in the works that we are all excited for. Thank you so much for joining us today. And as a reminder, if you are interested, Journey to Bethlehem is already out in theaters, including right here in Greenville at Regal Hollywood and Camelot Cinemas. And